Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. My card says good morning, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, I'm Howard Mittman, uh, Vice President and Publisher of uh, Wired. I'd like to welcome you all to the first ever uh, Wired Health Conference, Living by the Numbers, in partnership with Robert Woods Johnson Foundation. Um, unlike most conferences that you go to and, and most events, they ask you to turn off your phone and, and remain quiet. We're going to do the exact opposite. I want not rings so much, but we want you to tweet post, like the heck out of this thing, get it out there. You know, it, it's, it's not just about the splash here at, at the event, but it's about the ripples that all of you as influencers can create and the, the conversation and the dialogue that we can propel out. You know, healthcare is something that, that we spend a lot of time covering and look at um, quite a bit at Wired. And, and really, ultimately, there are very few industries at this point that have the ability to be disrupted and, and really... Um, you know, enlightened in the, in the way that healthcare can. And so that's what this conference is ultimately about. It's about making sure that uh, beyond, you know, tagging everything, hashtag Wired Health, that we're, you know, actually making a difference. Um, and so I, I would urge you guys to really participate. Um, use this as much as you can in terms of not just the knowledge that you can extract from the stage, but ultimately from each other. That's why you have been selected here. That's why you've been invited here. Um, it's, a, it's a really important, important part of the process. Um, I'd like to take um, a second to thank our sponsors, uh, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, who co-created this concept and whose generosity made this possible. Um, our premier sponsor is IBM, who will be doing a special session tomorrow right after lunch that the cards say I'm very much looking forward to, but in fact it is true. Um, our premium sponsor, MD Anderson, who recently announced a $3 billion moonshot to fight cancer, which is mind-boggling and amazing, and um, our uh, exhibitor sponsors, BASF, Body Media, iHealth, Tomorrow Mobile. So uh, now it gives me great pleasure to introduce my editorial partner and friend, uh, the executive editor of Wired, Thomas Getz. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Wow. All right, so this is happening. Um, so thank you all for coming. Thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, thank you to the people in this room. Thank you to the people in the simulcast room. Um, if, you, if you get tired of being in this room, there's this awesome uh, simulcast room we have across the way around. So uh, go there if you want to you work a little uh, harder, if you want to compose that post and a little bit of uh, privacy, there's a really good room there. Also, thank you to everybody on our live feed. Uh, we have this, this conference is not just about the people here uh, in uh, real life in person, but about the people who are watching, the thousands of people who, who we expect to watch um, the feed on Fora TV. So, so thank you to them for joining us as well. Um, I thought I'd, uh, I mean, we want to kick off, and we're, we wanted to kind of have an afternoon session that gives a good idea of what, um, what this kind of combination of, of Wired and, and healthcare, what makes it a little different. So you're in for a really amazing afternoon. Uh, what I wanted to do, first of all, was to give you a little sense of where this idea comes from, why, why Wired thought um, a health conference was a, was a good idea and, and a, a worthy idea of, of uh, Wired, because it's, it's not intuitive. But it, it necessarily, it's not necessarily intuitive. Um, these, this kind of world of technology, the world of healthcare, what do they have to come, have uh, in common? Well, uh, I want to go back a few years ago. I want to go back um, in the dark ages, the world before apps. Okay, I want to go to 2008. Um, and and it, was before, it was before the Fitbit, it was before the, the Zio, the sleep monitor, it was before the, the Nike Fuel Band, uh, which, which 25 of us at Wired are, are tracking everything about ourselves on this thing. Um, it was before so many of those tools. Uh, but we had this idea, this notion that there was something going on where, where healthcare was starting to recognize the power of information technology and, and vice versa. Information technology, the world of, of entrepreneurs and innovators, was starting to recognize the opportunity of, of healthcare. And there were, some, um, there were some companies already there. Uh, 23andMe was, was started up in, in the end of 2007. Patients Like Me, um, who, who was here represented, uh, was uh, up and running and using the power of data, uh, the power of connecting people with their own data and, and helping them see how that can change their lives, how, how a bit of data can change uh, the way we think about our health and our lives. And, that is an incredibly powerful idea, but, but then, in those, in those dark ages of 2008, it was, it was just kind of these little sparks. It wasn't this kind of emerging bright world that, that we're, we're really, um, that we have upon us now. 
so it was, it was something that we, we thought was important. It was a kind of classic wired story. It was happening out there um, and an idea that our readers and our, our audience would be engaged with, but it wasn't readily apparent. It wasn't obvious. So we started thinking about it, and it, it, uh, in 2009, we put together a cover story called Living by Numbers, um, and it was, uh, it, that was also the title of the first chapter of my book. If I had actually used the title as my book title, I probably would have sold more copies. Um, but, but that idea of living by numbers, that idea of using uh, health data, personal data, population data to give people a stronger, more, more active role in their health was something that we thought had a lot of promise. And we realized that there was um, a company, there was a, an organization behind a lot of the innovation that we saw. Uh, time and again, there was, there was uh, a, an organization that was sponsoring a lot of this, this innovation. Uh, it was the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, specifically their pioneer program, their pioneer portfolio. And the people there, Paul Torini, Steve Downs, uh, now run by Brian Quinn, they had this great instinct for innovation. They, they had this, this uh, acumen that, that basically was spotting all the cool stuff that was happening in healthcare, uh, all the stuff that was recognizing this power of data to change the way people live. And um, they, they sponsored stuff like uh, David Eddy's, uh, one, of the, one of the masters of, of bringing data to medicine, uh, pioneers of evidence-based medicine, his Archimedes project, where they're doing computer modeling of the human body um, to, to do these amazing studies. Uh, they sponsored Nicholas Christakis's work, which you're going to hear about tomorrow, um, connecting uh, social networks with healthcare. Uh, they sponsored um, all sorts of look that all sorts of work that looked at this this idea that they cooked up called um, observations of daily living ODLs, and this idea of ODLs was was again this idea that if you give people a way to reckon with their health regularly, consistently, uh, to just measure it, to monitor it, you can get them to change it for the better. Um, you can give them the power to control their health. And that notion, whether you call it ODLs or, or feedback loops or quantified self or living by numbers, it's incredibly powerful. It's an incredibly powerful idea. It's a powerful idea because the technology is powerful. The technology is finally coming to healthcare to make these changes, uh, to make these changes manifest in ways that, that uh, I think, even though it seemed like a, a wisp of an idea in 2008, 2009, it's, it's really very true. And, and amazing today. Um, so we hooked up with um, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation to, to create this conference because we thought it was something that um, could actually go a lot further. We thought that, that even though the idea is, is out there, that there's still the opportunity to, to tap the science of epidemiology, to tap um, genetics, uh, to tap other sciences, other biological sciences, and, and give more information to people. Government is starting to do this. Um, other organizations are starting to do this. This is just the beginning. We're only at the beginning here. And this is where it comes back to all of you. Um, to, the tool of technology is only so good as the people using it. And, and when it comes to healthcare, the power to use the trajectory of democratized, democratized technology, it's going to start in this room. It's going to start among people like you. So it's important that over the next two days, uh, you engage with this. You engage with this idea. You know, talk to people. Have, have, make new connections. Have new ideas. Cook up new ideas. Cook up collaborations. And then bring them home. Bring them home and make these things happen, right? So, so this is the only beginning. We want some of you up here next year, right? So, so this is the beginning of something, the beginning of something very big. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Thank you for being uh, in on the first uh, Wired Living by Numbers conference. And um, thank you for being a part of it.